So this is Death Rattle Relic Demon Hunter. The idea of this deck is to fight for board early with your Death Rattle minions and then win the game with your insane relic value late game. Coining out Xylag turn six? No, that's ridiculous. Why would I even consider keeping a seven drop? That's silly. Oh uh, crap. I remember a long time ago, obviously over a year ago now, when Death Speaker Blackthorn was like the best seven drop in the entire game and it was so good it was so good that you could arguably keep him in your opening hand to play on seven, because if you did, you'd just win. Because that's just how powerful he was. Boy, how far we've come. Because now, he's complete and total ass. He's like mediocre. He is mid. He's not bad, okay? I'm saying he's ass was a bit of an exaggeration, so he's not terrible. But he's not like, he's not good either. He's very medium, which is just weird to think about, considering he used to be one of the best cards. My hair is so flat. I guess that's what happens when I wear a hat for most of the day. My bad. I was trying to wear my Hearthstone hat to support Hearthstone because, you know, it's a fun game and all. And then I realized that uh, it was getting in the way of my headset. So I took it off and now my hair is super duper flat. Um, we're going to play this hero power, hit this. Beast mass or beast mass. This is going to be really good. This is what we play next turn. Then we can play this turn four, maybe. Turn five, awkward. Turn six, coin out this. Hopefully we don't take too much damage. Over the course of the stream, we've been changing these decks around a little bit. So this is like the base build. And then you can change the three cards if you want uh, manually, please. Because I don't really have the ability. Well, I mean, I do have the ability to change it now, but I'm like currently streaming. Okay. So what's going to happen? Oh, that's a really good thing for turn five. Honestly, it's so strong. We might just coin it out turn four. That's that's a coin out turn four angle and then we just play you naturally turn seven, but that will hopefully pull out another minion He wants to play the demon dude, right? I'm assuming He wants to play the demon the guy that pumps up demons plus two plus two, which is why he's flooding He's gonna play demonic assault gets more demons. That's unfortunate. We get hopefully the rush one devouring ectoplasm isn't terrible um, We're going to coin out Kurtris and hit here here and hit here and just kill off as many minions as possible basically coin Kurtris hit here two three fours hit here and here as well these aren't the biggest bats in the world but there's something then he plays the guy that pumps them up plus two plus two probably keeps going face might trade um and then i have rush and or the relic of extinction to play to like chip away at some of his minions if i want to imagine a four three thief card dies too easily wow you had another demonic assault you're crazy lifesteal was pretty good actually i'm down for that and it heals me a pretty solid amount that's that's good i do not really want to double activate this i really don't want to double activate it so i'll just play it once and hope it hits this one please don't hit that one twice shit I mean, I'm definitely bummed that that didn't die. Don't get me wrong, but I feel like it's... Are you trading, really? Oh, okay. Fair enough. Double activate Relic of Dimensions. Double activate this. We get Sigil of Alacrity, which is free. That's fine. Hopefully, we draw a couple more expensive cards. Okay. Quite honestly, not great. Boom. Boom. Hero power hit. That's a bad card to draw. We play you next turn. And then eventually it might get to a point where we have to play him. But honestly, we might just like keep him in my hand. Ugh, these, books are ruined. these books are ruined. I mean, if we play you, we're basically guaranteed a fell rattler almost. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sep okay, we're not guaranteed one. I should not have said that. Now, knowing my luck, we're not going to get it. Oh, God. I can see it now. We drew both Persistent Peddlers. Honestly, kind of good, though, for me. Please, just give me a Fell Rattler. I'm begging you. Okay, we got one Fell Rattler. Honestly, good. Very good. We get to kill off the biggest one. Kill off all these little imps. And pass. We have a 50-50 chance. This 3-2 pulls out this. It's a 50-50. You're trading? 
Oh, I understand, because they're gonna play, what's it called? They're gonna play Tam- yeah, 50-50, 50-50, come on, 50-50, we can do this. We were molded by these moments, built for this, voice crack, not important. Oh, it's a 50-50 though. No! I mean, on the bright side, we can trade this away and it's not like the end of the world, but it's not great either. But we drew you, which is actually like the next best thing. Okay, this is, <gasps> but it's still a 50-50. No, it's still a 50-50. Trade this away. What do we get, what do we get, what do we get? That's not bad. We could double activate that high key. I don't know how he's supposed to deal with this. Yeah, sure, let's do it. Blood the board. Oh, but Gigafin exists. Oh. Maybe we just play the Relic Vault to set up for more stuff in the future. And then just hero power. The answer is... Oh, but that's gonna get me Lady Prester, isn't it? We actually can't hero power and hit him because it could give me Lady Prester. Not Lady Prester, sorry. Oh no, Persistent Peddler. I don't know why I said that. You gave me Razor Boar, it's fine. I did miss out on a little bit. But you could also pull out, okay, okay. Honestly, honestly, not bad. This is fine. Gigafin exists and would suck. Gigafin's the worst possible thing it could be. Everyone like the stream? True, facts, everybody like the stream. Oh, we, they're so good. This deck is actually not shit. I'm so surprised. I thought this deck was so bad, but like, the death rattle package gives you enough early tempo to stay alive. And like, obviously you kind of got to hit the nuts too, but wow, this is not terrible. The the four cost legendary that draws you uh, three cards is the death rattle. The whole point is you try to cheese him out with this and draw no cards. So that way you can, um, so that way you can keep the ball rolling. But for the most part, I feel like it's uh he's a pretty important card. I mean, obviously against a mage, he can just freeze you over and over and over and over and over again like the last one did. I literally didn't get to play the game for several turns. If we get, uh, oh my god, we actually have him. This is the combo. This is it right here. You're about to see it. Maybe. Unless he freezes it again. I literally was not able to play the game for ages. He froze my whole board. One, then Flurry. Well, he had the location, so he froze my biggest minion, then Flurry, then the location again, then Varden. Like, I wasn't able to attack with my- I was not able to attack with my 7-7 seven, seven for several turns. That's wild. And then s we have to- we want to attack as many turns as possible here. Oh, I trolled. I was supposed to trade first to see which one it pulled out. I mean, it doesn't it doesn't change anything really, but I should have I should have waited. Savara? Oh, you already played three because of the coin. Petition to make the coin not count as a uh, as a as a spell. Would love to would love to see that actually genuinely. I think that would be very beneficial for the entire game. Fell Rattler. hit this. Does four damage, and then I'm gonna take three. But I guess I'm fine with that. Damn, hits my face. Damn. Then hit after he pulls that out. And then if we get like the persistent peddler, we can trade that away. We don't. We'll go this to draw a card next turn, and then we'll have Kurtris, which is kind of cool, I guess. And that, my friends, is the combo. Bada bing, bada boom, a free seven seven death rattle, heal or draw me three cards. The worst part is, it's not actually that impressive. That's the whole power play. And it's like mid at best. I made a new um, Q block and honestly, it's so broken. See, this is just what happened last time, man. He just froze it over and over and over again. This is nice. We could double activate this and then play this. Because if we double activate this, it doesn't do anything. Or we just play Kurtris and kill both of them off because I think that's just better right now. What big minion could he play where I would want to keep Kurtris? What big minion? I mean, he could play Kazakus or not Kazakus, Keltazod. And I feel like there's one other big minion like Mordrash where I'd want to actually trade in. 
with the uh with the dudes so maybe we just settle for double activating this playing this and then hero powering and then hitting him in the face I mean it'll kill off both then we play this then we hero power and hit him in the face oh well that's weird Hits that, it's fine. I mean, we will die to Reckless Apprentice or Fire Sale on these things, but I wasn't gonna get anything bigger than a 3-3 anyway. And again, I'd rather save the Kurtz to actually kill something off like Mordresh or um, Kel'Thuzad, I guess. Or at least be able to like hero power. I mean, I'll play it next turn if I need to, right? Like, it's not that big of a deal. No, don't you dare freeze me again. Don't, don't you do it. Don't you do it. Let me play the game! Oh my god, dude. I just want to hit him. Why is this so hard? Let me play the game. Please. Please. Hit, hit. These go face. He can't play Mordrush for a turn because he used the second coin at least. Wait, did I not hit him in the face? No, I did. Okay, cool. I didn't miss that. I don't know if we're gonna have what it takes. I need to try to double activate Relic of Dimensions. It's the only way. I can take no! Wait, yes, I draw three cards. It's actually not the worst. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's not great, and I'm not happy about it, but whatever. It's fine. We draw three cards? I'm fine with this. Well, I use the term fine very, very loosely. He plays Mordresh, but I don't care. Alternatively, I don't play you. I activate you this turn instead, and I can play Xylag later. And instead, I draw a bunch of cards for reduced cost right now, which I think is better. Boom. Draw a bunch of cards. That's pretty good. That's fine. Activate again. That's pretty good. That's pretty good as well. We trade. Oh, we can't trade this away and play you at the same time. Ooh. Ooh. I think I play it though. That's fine, and then this will pull out the press or the uh, the peddler. It's fine. I didn't want to overcommit and play the relic too, because then he plays like Mordrush or something. What does this guy even do? Like the relics aren't win conditions. Hello? Damn. Like if this relic, I don't know. The relics aren't genuine win conditions. Is the problem? Like they literally just don't do anything more than half the time. We'll kill this. Kills that off. Gives me a rush minion. Doesn't really matter. Boom. And then hero power, I guess. I don't really care if these die. I could have gotten two seven sevens, but again, they died on Mordrush. I'm trying to wait. But maybe I should have just played them and baited out Mordrush. Not even baited out, but just like dared him to have Mordrush. Because these die to Reckless Apprentice, which die a lot faster. But his Mordrush is active, and I'm just... I don't know. Problem is, burning your deck, playing Artificer... Will fatigue you? That's true. Wait, he trolled. No, he didn't troll. Yeah, he wins, he wins, he wins, he wins, he wins. Well! I don't know if he wins. It really depends on where this damage goes, you know? Like, I pull out several dudes. Wait, do I win? Holy shit, I might win. No shot, I won. There's no way that I win here. 15. Oh my god, I win. What's one more? No, Never mind. Dak is broken. Take back everything I said. Dak actually goaded with a sauce. Checkmate. Got him. <laughs> I think we need a couple more like later game cards to win actually. Have you tried Thief Priest? I'm gonna try it soon. 
but not yet. Uh, Tusk Piercer, great turn one. Relic Vault, also pretty good to play. Do I want to double activate the Relic of Phantasms? We'll see. We'll hit. We'll see if I want to play it. Double activate it. I mean, I'd rather double activate it to get slightly bigger minions, but like... I think that if he's Paladin, he's going to try to flood the board with some decent minions early on, so... Killing off some stuff might not be that bad. Okay, it's fine. Like, Consecrate would wreck me, City Tax would kind of wreck me. We got the Battlemaster. Let's slam his face. Slam it. We got a Fell Rattler. Trade that away. We get a new card. That's going to be decent to play on turn 7. So we play this. I think I want to play this to get value out of it. I mean, if I play this, what do I do the following turn? Like, nothing. Ambassador Phelan. Okay, 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 okay. We have multiple different choices here. If I want to play Relic Vault, I do nothing. And his board isn't that strong, so I guess now is the perfect time to do it anyway. And then eventually we can play the Beastmaster, but we probably won't play him for a little bit. Uh, really? It's not too heavy. Is it worth spending 2k gold on new expansion cards or wait for mini set? I mean, ideally you're able to- Oh, thanks so much, Leon, for the $5. Do you have the, um, can I send you the deck code for Pure Paladin? I already have a deck code for Pure Paladin. Um, I already know that I want to play it. Um, so I don't really need anybody to send me a deck code. I've already got one. Double activate that just so I can start moving it. But I mean, if you want to send me a deck code, Leon, you can. Probably best places on Twitter or Discord. That's where I check the most, but I already have one, and I think it's pretty decent, honestly. But I would say use it, and then ideally you're able to get 2k gold relatively fast at the start of the of the expansion, because the battle pass is honestly pretty good. Ooh. So we have to play this. So we go bonk, bonk, hero power, hit this. Play Fell Rattler, hit. Because I want to keep my twos, I want to keep my minions alive for as long as possible. Actually, technically, we should trade first. Kurtris, that'll actually be a good next turn play. Then we go Hero Power, hit this, that's fine. Then we go Fell Rattler, and it'll kill off this and the 1 1. And then we'll play Kurtris next turn, buy me some time, then we'll play Xylag, and then after that, we're going to try to start doing stuff. Deck code, I got you one second. Dude, this actually, the deck code on the internet, on the hearth phone is incorrect. I'm going to have to make some adjustments to that. So I'll just send you the not mobile friendly deck code, but that's it right there. Damn. No, that's actually fine. 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 And death speaker, that's really good as well. That might be better than Xylag, Loki. This goes here, then this goes here. Then this goes here. Honestly, this might be better than Xylag, but it really depends. It depends on what I need at the time. Dude, I hate the bots. The bots are so annoying. Rush in, fair enough. Say less. Honestly, I'm thinking Death Speaker might be stronger. Mostly because of the fact that I really want to try to hit a rush minion to kill that so he can't reduce the cost of more holy spells And then I can play Xylag after because he's gonna use removal on this, right? Don't get me two persistent peddlers. Okay, only got me one. That's perfect. This rushes into here This will draw me a ton of cards. This is exactly what we wanted. So anyway We play Xylag after he uses his removal to kill off this board right here And then he's like, oh, I use my removal like equality consecrate equality city tax over the heck um, then we use, like I just said, Xylag. Completely wipe his board. Then he plays Karyl. But he's gonna have to have Karyl to do that. He might have it. But we know that... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's kind of bad for me. Oh, my gosh. That actually is kind of bad for me. What the heck? No! Oh! 
I kind of think I have to double activate these. I'll play it once, and then we might double activate it. Oh man. Well, it's gonna. We're not gonna double activate it immediately because they're gonna get the divine shields regardless. Okay, Avenge goes on that one. That's fine. I trade this away. And then I go trade, trade. And then I double activate this. And then I play this for six damage on each. So you trade this away. Sigil of Alacrity. Cool, but not really that important. We hit here. Then we hit here. We double activate this one. Yeah, we have to double activate this one and then play this. The reason why we had to do it in that order is because if I didn't do it in that order, one of them would have stayed alive because there is no way that I could make it do five damage. And now we're actually in a pretty okay spot because we have two relics of the dimension still in there. We've got the relic vault still in the deck. So I mean, theoretically we could double activate relic um, of dimensions. Which would be really, really cool. Light Ray doesn't matter too much here. We could probably play Xylag. Okay. He kills a four. He's going to heal up a decent amount, but maybe I'm able to do enough damage to where that shouldn't matter. We got two fives. Oh, he's not even going to rush in. Oh, maybe he didn't get rush. How much damage can I do here? Boom, boom. Hero power a bunch of times. These all go face. Twelve. Wow. Wait, that actually went really well. What the heck? Is this deck not trash? 